The collaboration between Uniqlo and Clearweight Keller is coming soon. I would like to pick 8 items and share with you what I will buy and what I will avoid this time. From the pictures and the descriptions, the top one of my will buy list is this pleated camisole dress. The pleats are delicate and gorgeous, just like the pleated skirt I purchased from the first release of Uniqlo C. But this time the skirt has an irregular hem design and the fabric is quite see-through than the autumn winter release. This one is lined, so I don't think it's a problem. From the picture, I can see the length just hit above the ankle. It's in an irregular shape, so I guess it is a maxi length on a petite frame like me. The number one item I won't buy is this pleated pants. From the pictures of these models, I can see the pants are not high-waisted. Even on these models, the silhouette did not help elongate the legs. I guess it won't work on my petite frame, and you can notice the hem already hit the ground. The model even stepped on it by wearing a sandal, but it still did not help elongate the frame. There is an alteration service from Uniqlo, but I think the main problem of this one is it's mid-low waisted, so I'll skip this one. The next item on my will buy list is this open back dress. I fell in love with its design immediately because the open back is adjustable by pulling the tapes and it's removable from the description. I can wear regular bra with this dress. No need to wear a strapless or new bra. The fabric is rayon and linen blend. It's better than polyester from my point of view. But I found it hard to decide between these colors. The red one is definitely an eye-catching piece, but it may be a little overwhelming for my daily use. So I link to the black one at this time. Another item I would give a no is this blouse. I purchased a very similar blouse in the last release. I'm quite happy with the design, but the fabric is very disappointing. It has static and it clings to the body when wearing. The fabric is not soft enough. It's a little scratchy. I really hope Uniqlo can use better material on the designer's collaboration pieces. The next well by piece is this cropped t-shirt. The cropped top and high waist bottoms is definitely a trend for this spring. I will match this t-shirt to my high waist jeans and skirts. They're 100% cotton. A few colors are available for this kind of essential piece. I might pick a bold color like red and some basic colors like white and black. When I saw the pictures first released online, I was so happy there was a trendy oversized blazer jacket in this release. But after thinking about my own body frame and my styling goals, I have to say no to this piece. From the model picture, I understand the design is for a gender neutral vibe, oversized fit for the shoulders, but I don't think it would look flattering on me since I have a quite small frame torso and a petite frame. The last yesterday, I would give it to this mermaid skirt. It is made of wrinkle-resistant fabric, which is my favorite. The spring-summer skirt as light as this one easily gets wrinkled after sitting or driving. But if this one can solve this problem, it's a big win. Besides, I like the mermaid design of the skirt. It also looks like a maxi length skirt, which is very versatile and appropriate in the working space or hanging out with kids or infants. But the fabric is 100% polyester. I hope it won't have severe static problem because when the skirt has a static problem, it will be a nightmare. The fabric clings to the thigh. It could be very embarrassing. So we'll see if the fabric of this piece is a win or not. Last note I'll give to this long brim cap. At first, I thought it's a very interesting design and it can block lots of UV, which is very useful in real life. But after taking a close look at the pictures and the descriptions, I changed my mind from the construction, the extremely long brim, I guess the hat won't be light. For a cap, I hope it's comfortable to wear for daily use. Besides, the brim looks bumpy. From the picture or videos, it may look nice because I do love the design. But in person, the bumpy brim may look cheap, not sleek. 
Among these three colors, maybe the black one is the color which can minimize the bumpy appearance of the brain. I haven't covered all the items of this coming release. There are still a lot of interesting items that I personally want to try. Which items are on your buy or skip list? Please let me know in the comment. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.